He stands tall among many, easy to spot in a crowd. Eliud Wabukala is a household name, one of the most recognizable men of cloth. His standing in the society may have helped in propelling him to the job nobody seems to get right. Today, among many and before the Chief Justice, he took oath of office with an understanding that he cannot walk alone in this journey. But I will faithfully and fully, impartially, and to the best of my knowledge. But this is the easy part. What awaits him, if history is to go by, will need more than faith. Unlike those who went before him, who often began their terms by bringing the war right at the doorstep of Integrity Center, Archbishop Wabukala has a different prescription for the commission, one that will ensure when they rise, they rise together, and when they fall, they fall as a house. His may have been a tough decision to make, having retired honorably at the helm of the Anglican Church. He comes to an institution very low on credibility and with questionable integrity. His predecessor, Philip Kinisu, never lasted a year. Before him was Mumo Matemo, whose reign was full of ups and downs. Eventually, living when he became apparent, he would not at last those who came before him. This job has the highest birth and the death rate in public service. But that's no reason not to take the job. Someone has to do it. His entry too is full. Abukala may have to begin right home. The commissioners and the secretariat have been accused of presiding over graft, his predecessor having put them on the spot for being the impediment in fighting graft. They were all there as he lifted the Bible to take his oath. I join this commission as a team leader and together we shall endeavor to execute the mandate of the commission as we are obligated under the constitution. It is the first time a man of cloth has been thrusted to the helm of the anti-graft body. He comes in with experience having been a member of the anti-corruption steering committee. But even those who have worked with the commission to resolve graft cases know that experience alone won't count. We have a serious problems on our hands. Uh, it has to be dealt with and dealt with sooner than later. The Kenyan people have been patient. Uh, but their patience is running thin. Abukala's strategy include having the participation of everyone. While it's not clear how he intends to rally the stakeholders behind him, what is certain is the rough journey ahead. They will use every trick in and out of the book to stall your efforts. They will try uh, to capture institutions, including yours, under my efforts, I have a noble. Attack your person, I have unfair. And attack your motives, I have innocent. Abukala takes over with immediate effect to complete the commission that has been without a head for nearly six months. Ken Mijungu, NTV.